Hi, welcome to CG Dive. In this short video, I want to show a little known feature of Rigify. Basically, if you know where to look, you can get additional functionality for Rigify. You can get more of the so-called rig types. Rig types are Rigify's building blocks. By default, in Rigify, we have an arm, a leg, a spine, a simple tentacle, rig type, and so on. And if you want to know how to get more of these, like an advanced tentacle, human rigs alternative to the default human meta rig, and even the rain rig from the Blender Foundation as a meta rig, then keep watching. But you should have a decent understanding of how Rigify and the rig types work in the first place before watching this video. If you're new to Rigify or if you can only work with the pre-built meta rigs, then I recommend my free and extensive Rigify playlist on YouTube. It will teach you how to make use of the full power of Rigify. Then if you want to learn more, I have a paid course and you can get 20% off on Gumroad if you enter coupon code CGDive when you purchase. Okay, so using the additional rig types. In Blender, if I go to Edit, Preferences, and go to the Add-ons tab, I can search for Rigify. I have a bunch of add-ons related to Rigify, but I want the actual Rigify add-on. And then I can expand this info that I have for the add-on. That will give me some basic info about the add-on. I can access the documentation, report a bug. There is a legacy mode that is only useful if you're using very, very old Rigify rigs. And below it is the feature that we want. You'll see the install feature set from file button. If you click on it, it will allow you to open a zip file containing a so-called feature set. And a feature set is a collection of additional rig types and functionality for Rigify. And so I'll click cancel here. And now the question is, where do we get these feature sets? I personally know of only five of these feature sets. There aren't many of them at this point because extending Rigify is not very easy. You need very good coding skills and understanding of Blender's code to create additional rig types. But I'm going to show you the five that I know of. And if you know of additional rig types, then let me know in the comments. So here are the feature sets that I'm aware of, all five of them and I'm going to share all of the links with you. And next, I'm going to show you how to download each of them, how to install them, and a little bit of basic info about what they contain. Just keep in mind that this is a quick overview. In separate videos, I may go into more details about these new rig types and how to use them. But now let's look at the five feature sets one by one and download them. First, we have the experimental Rigify feature set. This set is created by Alexander Gavrilov, and he is one of the main authors of Rigify itself. In fact, he's currently maintaining uh, the, the add-on. He's the boss of Rigify at the moment. So these rig types are experimental, and this is no joke. Don't be surprised if some of them don't work. Basically, this is Alexander's playground where he experiments and creates new rig types, and some of them may become stable and may be added to the default Rigify in the future. If you want to play with them, make sure that you read this first section very carefully. It basically tells you that if you want to use the latest version of this feature set, you should also use the latest nightly build of Blender. So they may not work with the stable version of Blender. So here I'm going to click on code and choose download zip. And that way I'll download the master version of this feature set. Additionally, you can download all the versions of the add-on and they may be a little bit more stable. So over here, it says all the versions are listed as tags. If you click on the tags link, it will take you to this area. And so at this time, we have two older versions for Blender 2.90 and for 2.91. So I'm going to download the one for 2.91. Click on it and then choose the source code.zip. And these files are being downloaded in my downloads folder. Okay, let's move to the next feature set. This one is called CloudRig, and it is also created by someone who is involved in the development of the Rigify add-on itself. The developer's name is Dimitr Zadik. And if you want to download the feature set, you have to scroll down and find the link to the releases page, click on it. And over here, you have to choose your Blender version. And we have a version for Blender 2.92 and 93. 
and also for all the versions of Blender. As I'm recording this video, the stable version of Blender is 2.93, so I'm going to download this one. I'll click on the source code zip file. For Linux, you probably have to download one of these tar files. I'm not sure about that. And then we can move to the next feature set. This one is Sessens. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Sessens Reify Extensions. And Sessen is Nathan Vegdal. And Nathan Vegdal is the initial developer of Rigify. So Nathan created the framework for Rigify and he added the first rig types and meta rigs. Then he stepped down from the development and other people took over and the rig types and meta rigs started changing. So this feature set is very close to the original rig types that Nathan created. So in some way you can think of it as an older version of Rigify. But basically, I think it's a set of rig types the way Nathan Vegdal likes them. To download it, click on the code button and download zip. Okay, the next feature set is called Game Rig and it is very, very new. This feature set is a rewrite of the default Rigify rig types. So if you're used to the default rig types, you will find this feature set very easy to work with. The difference that it brings is that by default, Rigify creates rigs that are not suitable for games. And if you try to export that to a game engine, you get a mess. If you use this feature set, you get the same Rigify functionality, but the deformed bones are better organized for games. And exporting to a game engine should go quite smoothly. To download this feature set, scroll down, find the link to the releases page, Find the latest release, scroll down a little bit and find the assets, expand them and download the source code zip file. Okay, the name of this last feature set is in French. There is no way I can pronounce it. So show us how it's done Google Voice. Régifie Pantin. Beautiful. So it seems that this word here means puppet and this add-on is meant for rigging cut out characters, so 2D characters. To download it, click on the code button and download zip. We downloaded all of the feature sets, at least all that I'm aware of. And next I'm going to move to Blender and let's see how we can install these feature sets and also how we can access the new features that they provide. So again, if I go to edit, preferences, add on tab, Find the Rigify add-on, expand the options and click on install feature set from file. I can go to the folder where I downloaded the files, select one of the feature sets, let's say the CloudRig and click this button. And CloudRig will be added to this area, which shows all installed feature sets. So let's install another one, for example, the Sessin extension. And now we have installed two feature sets. If I click on any of the feature sets, I'll get additional options for it, like accessing the repository, documentation, reporting a bug, and also removing the feature set. And the only button that is always available is the remove button. All other ones are optional depending on the feature set. So let's install another one. For example, the Rigifi Pantin. And now that we have feature sets installed, let's see how we can access them. I'm going to close the preferences window and in the 3D view in object mode, if I press shift A, go to armature, in the armature options, each feature set may add new rig types. So for example, we get the Sessin human that is obviously from the Sessin extension pack. Uh, we have cloud humans, which is from cloud rig and Pantin from the Pantin pack. And this will work exactly as the other meta rigs. Just create any of them, for example, the Sessin human, and it will give you a pre-built meta rig, which is a predefined set of rig types arranged in a specific configuration. In this case, looking as a human. Okay, if I go to pose mode and select the first bone of the leg, for example, and then go to the bone tab, and find the Rigify type, you'll see that the rig type is Sessin Biped Leg and it has some rig type options. Same with the arm and same with the spine. 
And if you know how to work with default rigify, you should be able to figure out how to set up these additional rig types as well. If you want to manually create these new rig types, that is also possible in the same way as with the default rig types. So I can create a new single bone, go to pose mode, select this bone, and then in the bone tab, I can give it a rig type. And for example, I can make it a sesame finger. Now this may not work. Each rig type requires certain bone structure. For example, the finger may require um, a chain of three bones like this. But you add the rig type from the rig type option here. If you have a lot of feature sets installed, this list gets very long. So you can limit the available rig types to just one feature set. Currently this feature set option is set to all. So Blender is showing all rig types, but I can click on this option and for example, choose only the Sess and Rigify extensions. And now I'll get a much shorter list of rig types that are limited to this feature set. And of course, there is another way to create rig types and that is by using samples. So for that, I need to go to edit mode and then to the armature tab and then rigify buttons. And here I'll have access to rig type samples. The same filtering works here as well. Because I switched the feature set to the session one, I can only see the session samples, but I can switch to all, which will show me all rig types or to cloud rig, which will only show the cloud rig samples. And let's delete this chain and add some sort of sample. Here it is. And if I go to pose mode, select the first bone and go back to the bone tab, I can see the rig type and the available options. So this is how you install feature sets and how you gain access to their features. In the next couple of minutes, I'm going to show you highlights of some of the interesting features of each feature set. And in future videos, I may go into more details about each individual one. A lot of you have asked me about a way to rig tentacles using Rigify. The default simple tentacle that we have in Rigify is really not suited for complex stuff like octopus tentacles. The spline IK tentacle from the experimental Rigify feature set offers much more flexibility that you may find useful. The experimental feature set also features body IK rigs, And there is a prototype of a modular face rig. It features a mouth and eye rigs as separate components. And for the rest of the face, it offers flexible stretchy chains that you can arrange in any way you like. Cloud rig is probably the most extensive feature set. It's not so much an extension to the default rigify rigs as it is a complete set of original rig types. Some of them can be combined to create custom face rigs. This feature set even has its own menu and buttons for rig generation. As for meta rigs, it offers two new humanoid rigs, one with a face and one without. In the meta rig that features a face, you can see how the custom face is constructed. The eyes are created using the eyelid rig type and the rest of the face is created mostly using the face chain rig type. Here I have a character rigged with the game rig feature set. And if you're thinking, well, that looks exactly like the default rigify, you would be right almost. Basically, the rig types that game rig provides are identical, functionally speaking, to the default rigify rigs. The main difference is in the way the uh, deforming bones are parented and constrained. Everything is done in such a way that when you export this rig out of Blender to a game engine, for example, all you need to do is tick the deform option only 
checkbox and you'll get a clean rig. Here's a comparison between default Rigify and game rig when they are exported to a game engine. The game rig one is nice and clean and default Rigify has a lot of unnecessary bones. Game rig provides game versions of all of the existing meta rigs. So for example, you have a game human and game animals. So if you're working on a game, simply start from these meta rigs. Or if you're building your own rigs, then all you need to do is make sure that you're using the game rig types. The game super limb will work exactly as the default super limb. The game basic spine will work exactly as the default basic spine and so on. Game rig also gives you this additional menu in the side panel, which attempts to streamline the Rigify interface, which is a welcome change. Thank you to everyone who is supporting me by watching my videos and special thanks to my Gumroad and Patreon supporters. Please click like and subscribe and talk to you next time.